Hello and welcome, this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome again for another episode on how to install open source applications. You can follow me on my blog page opensourcechannel.co.uk Of course you can follow me on Twitter. This is my YouTube channel. Uh, first of all, I would say uh, I'm very sorry that this is going to take them that long for a new episode it's about a month but hey quite busy usually and anyway i just had an email not so long ago from one of the uh, viewers here subscribers who want to know how to install a copy of docu wiki on a z panel server now to be honest you can install this open source on any server you don't need to have a you know big server where you pay a lot of money you can have those free server available everywhere anyway the first thing you want to do is download the latest version and I'm going to save it open the containing folder I already downloaded the latest version anyway and I already extracted this is the content and now what I'm going to do I'm going to upload the entire content to my server using an FTP program I'm going to use uh, FileZilla and I'm going to use CMS tutorial TK for this tutorial and what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all and paste and I'm going to upload. Now the docker wiki doesn't need any kind of a database installation. So it's just drag and drop. And the first thing you want to do is redirect the, um, the browser. To the domain name and it's going to tell you what to do as you can see everything is already done now to finish off the installation what you need to do is just replace that with install PHP And there we go. As you can see here, everything has been uploaded. So let's go for the installer. Now, the name of the wiki. I'm going to create a super user. The real name. Now the email address for it. And I'm going to type the password twice. Logically you want it as long as possible. Now the actual policy, uh, what you want to do with it. You want to read and write for everyone without registering or you want them to be registered or you want to close the one and for registered use only but you will not allow them to register themselves you will register for them in this demonstration I'm going to use the middle one for public I'm going to allow users to register for themselves then I'm going to choose the license type I'm leaving as race for this kind of a installation for every single one you can click here for help where you can get all the Creative Commons specification and attributions once you have decided which one to go for the last um, click is on once a month send anonymous usage data to DocuWiki developers uh, that's up to you you know doesn't have to be you know clicked on and once you finish just click save I'm going to click on this one here and as you can see everything's done 
last thing to do is to delete the file where I'm going back to FileZilla click, right click and delete and I continue and there we go you got the latest version of my wiki on uh, Doc, sorry, docu wiki on your server I'm going to press login to make sure everything works I'm going to log in and there we go we are inside the administration as well and where you can uh, manage the users control system manage the plugins configuration settings that's all you need here and one control panel very easy to use anyway and that's it I would like to thank again everyone to uh, subscribing strange enough I got 825 subscribers it's been since last one I think it's about three four hundred subscribers uh, doing pretty well pretty well um, and I hope to do a lot more unfortunately because of my job uh, I don't have a lot of time and uh, well by looking at this I think I need to spend more time and try to create more tutorials for everyone to use also uh, as you can see from my website the actual channel is going to be uh, I'm going to make some changes the, the actual image on the top uh, as you can see mainly is on Z panel so I'm going to create a new one for uh, open source channel soon and uh, you will see the new rebranding thanks again and I'll see you next time